Yeah. Um, I mean, that's going to be the playoffs. It's going to be tight, you know, uh, throughout. Um, the game was, you know, I don't think there was more than a two goal difference, was there? I, I don't know. It was just, it was a fast game for me. Um, anyways, uh, we we uh, we stuck to the game plan, and, and we were fortunate to bury uh, some goals in the fourth quarter uh, when we needed them, and, and you know, just to just make a little bit of a spread, uh, give us a little bit of comfort. Yeah, I think there's one guy everyone is going to want to talk about is John Tavares. I mean, every time you guys needed a goal, it seemed like he was the guy that was there to help you out. That's JT's career, right? Um, he's the best. Everybody knows he's the best. Um, I, I, I'm amazed a 45-year-old man can pick up a loose ball and score in one step behind the net, put it top shelf opposite side with a man draped all over him. Uh, to be honest with you, like I'm, I'm comparing it to, to myself getting out of bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it's, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it's pretty amazing. And to see him carry that effort into the, into the fourth quarter too, I mean, it's got to be inspiring, especially when you know, it's been an up and down season. You go to get the two time champions, that's a big lift. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, when you win, you, um, you know, we, I, I thought we were real good defensively. Um, we, that was our game, and, and, and our, our defense was uh, was top notch the whole entire time. And, and we made some mistakes, causing the to say. Um, but it starts from defense, and, and, and then, you know, the fourth quarter, the offense. They got the confidence that they needed, and, and they just took off from there. So, um, you know, it's been a tough season, but um, you know, we still have a long way to go here. So. You touched on it with Cosmo, especially in the fourth quarter. Not big flashy saves, but Dawson and Jameson right on the doorstep. Just you know, it's a shin pad and, and goes the other way. Just you know, not the spectacular diving, but big stops right on the doorstep. And, and that's why I said he's he's an elite goalie in this league. He has been for some time. You know. Um, he makes those saves when you need him, and, and you know the score is tied. And he makes a save on a, on a big time score like Doss or Gray Point or whoever um, shot the ball, and he makes a save and goes down the other way, and we score. So, um, you know, it's a two, it's a two goal swing basically is what that is. And that five goal run in the fourth quarter, all of them were even strength for a team that's struggled to find consistency, even strength. That's got to feel good. It, it 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 does. You know, I mean, um, credit to the offense. You know. Um, had a game plan and they stuck to it and, and you know um, eventually the ball was dropping for them. I mean, hey, that Rochester defense is, is pretty good and our guys are going up against uh, one of the best defense in the league and, and you know anytime that you can put some 12 up on the, on the scoreboard that's a good game for our offense. Early in the game uh, when Rochester was on their first four goal run uh, you're having trouble getting to the middle on offense and then Chad Culp takes it himself, dodges low, and breaks their run. How important was that goal? It's very important. I mean, Chad's a, a big part of our team, um, you know, and, and he can play at both ends, and, and we're comfortable with him playing at both ends. He's a, he's, he's a player, and, and you know, um, you, if you watch the film too, you'll see uh, him and Jay Rooney creating space for guys like JT and, and, and Banesh and, and Mark Stevens. Those guys, you know, everybody looks at who gets the goals and things like that, but, you know, as a coach, and you look at the guys that are, that are doing the work. And I'm not saying the guys that scored the goals aren't doing the work, but you know, you got guys that are, are chipping in with their, their, their effort and their hard work. You know, it's going to pay off, and it's going to give uh, those premier scorers some chances to shoot on contested shots. Troy, you've listed some good things obviously tonight. Maybe one other one that goes back to the Toronto game as well. Fourth quarter game up for grabs, and you guys have, have gone out and taken the game. And, and done that, you know, back-to-back -back weeks now and coming off that eight-game losing streak when maybe you might have some confidence this team has shown it has that confidence to take charge. Talk about that a bit. Yeah, and, and that is a positive for us. And earlier on in the year, um, if you remember on our eight-game, um, when we were eight and two, we won a lot of fourth-quarter battles, right? So it comes down, and most of these games are going to come down to the fourth quarter. Um, and, you know, we, uh, the, the, the goal by JT, the... the, the the rip that he let go, um, short side top cheese there, uh, it just seemed to give us a lot of momentum and a lot of energy. And from there, I thought that our, our offense uh, was battling and winning every loose ball and then doing whatever it took. So, you know, it was good to see, and that was a confidence builder for sure. Rochester left the floor visibly frustrated, understandably, and now seven days. Uh, hopefully, you guys can do it again. Well, I mean, that, I mean, that's what we're in it for. That's what we signed up at the beginning of the year for. Um, you know, we know it's going to be we're going to their barn. And, they're a, a pretty decent team, the defending champs, so we know we have our work cut out for us and we have to be, you know, I hate to be cliche, but we have to bring our eight game.
Thanks, Coach. Thank you.